Good afternoon, magical friends. I hope you're having a wonderful spooky season. I'm here to share with you my last minute costume idea. I wasn't sure who I wanted to be this year and I've honestly been just crazy busy with everything going on right now. And I needed a costume for this week for work. And I was like, oh, it has to be something Harry Potter, but I've been Hermione for years and my Newt costume was just too hot to wear to work. And so I needed something that was a little bit more breathable that I could move in easily and not get my sleeves caught up in. So I ransacked my closet and the guesses of who I'm going to be this year. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our magical family. Have you figured it out yet? I'm sure you have. I'm going to be Luna Lovegood. I didn't want to spend too much on this costume and so I just pieced it together from stuff that I had in my own closet. So I don't have Luna's wand, but I have Hermione's. So I will be using Hermione's wand and hopefully not too many people will notice at work, probably not. If you don't have Luna's wand, you could also just go and get a stick or any other wand shaped item that you do have around your house. I have her blue fuzzy socks. Mine were quite similar. I don't have the same bag, but I do have my Hogwarts Express bag, which I will be using. I have my well-worn Converse sneakers. I did not have a pink cardigan sweater coat. I didn't have anything pink. Honestly, don't like pink. It is my least favorite color but I needed something pink. So I just went to our local thrift store and I was able to find this nice little one here. And I only paid $5 for it, so it wasn't too bad. And knowing me, I will probably cosplay as Luna again in the future. So it was a good investment for the $5. I have a blue t-shirt out of my wardrobe and I also grabbed a pair of blue leggings. You could also use some blue tights, I didn't have a skirt and at our local thrift store they put away all of the summery items because it's fall so I couldn't find any skirts and so when I went into my closet I found my dress that I have and it was quite bright and colorful I thought it would work well for Luna but I didn't really want to wear a dress and all these other layers so I just rolled down the top to make a thicker waistband so my dress has now become my skirt then Luna wouldn't be Luna without her glasses. Not have your glasses from the Quibbler. You can also print off a template and you can make your own out of cardstock or cardboard and then you can just color them into any of the cool colors that you would like. And that way you can have your very own set. And I do not have a copy of my Quibbler magazine. I do need to add that to my collection one day. Hopefully I will have one, but right now I don't. So I'm just going to be using just my Hogwarts journal as my book to go with my Luna outfit for Halloween this year. So I will put this on for you and you can see how my outfit comes together. I think it went pretty well for not spending very much. I only had to buy the sweater. So for a $5 investment, it's not too bad. Plus all of my regular everyday clothes and a few pieces from my collection that I've had for a while now. Hope you have enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.